All right, so we have Greg asking, are there any Irish-specific sporins? Are certain animal furs associated with the Irish than the Scottish? If so, which ones? Yeah. Like sporin designs or like is there a different... He's just saying specific sporn. So okay. is there like is there is this is this the Irish sporn? Kind of like you know the Welsh have their right. Welsh oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because like yeah, I mean you know, the Welsh the definitely have a very, unique, whatever, very unique sporn yeah. design. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I'll I'll start by I'll touch on the sporn design and I'll let you go into the the fur aspect okay. of it. Sure. Um, no, there since the tradition of Irish kilt wearing is new, so to speak. Um, no. Th- most of the Irish sporin designs are all based on Scottish sporins. I mean, literally, it's just a Scottish sporin, and to make it Irish, most companies are just whacking a shamrock on it. So when we designed our range of Irish sporins, we wanted to uh, elevate it and think of you know Irish symbols from the ground up as we were doing it. Now, the symbols that we use in the uh, uh, in our dress sporin are the two harps on either side, the clada in the center, and again, we have the uh, the shamrock scrolling up the shoulder of the cantle, just as a little bit of accent piece, not to just shove the shamrock in everyone's face. No <laughs> shoving good. shamrocks. No shoving shamrocks. We also do <laughs> a, uh, jump back into frame here. We also do an Irish day sporing, which has a little bit of leather cut out, so you have green leather showing through, and then it has the, uh, the same uh, clotted design on the top here um, with three groupings of three studs here, three studs on that side, and then three holes and three holes on the other side. Okay. Again, kind of as the nod to the Trinity nut aspect. Of yeah, it. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's basically form follows function. So the idea of a sporin is that it's a leather pouch you can get into and get your stuff out of. So there's not any reason why an Irish sporin would be different from any other kind of sporin. It all comes down to the decoration. Um, just like it's, it's what you choose for your personal style to add flair and meaning and interest. Um, as far as that was the furs, um, there isn't there there isn't really an official Scottish fur either. Let me just say that. I mean, the closest you might come is like you know seal. Seal yeah. is is very Scottish, um, and goat hair is, because of the Victorians is very Scottish, but. Um, other than that, it's just whatever somebody thought looked good at the time. Um, Badger, you know, another old Victorian one. In Ireland, the animals that are of importance, um, there's the hare, which is considered kind of a a national animal. Uh, There's the red deer, which is also considered kind of a national animal. Um, But uh, those are kind of relatively recent. Um, The funny one to me is, we talked about the Book of Kells. Um, Luke, uh, his, his spirit animal, his spirit, <laughs> get the pagan to talk about the Christians. Uh, it's always going to work great. Um, the uh, his his symbol is a is a bull, and uh, that actually harkens back also to other Irish traditions of bulls uh, be, and cows being a symbol of royalty, and a symbol of virility, uh, and a symbol of wealth. Basically, uh, like many cultures going back into the Bronze Age, um, cattle meant wealth. Cattle meant power cattle meant strength. So as humble as you might consider the bovine pelt on a sporn to be, as opposed to fancy red fox or whatever, um, it's actually very traditional. You know, it's, it is a power animal for ancient Irish culture um, going back thousands of years. So yeah, I mean, don't worry too much about it. Um, go with what you think looks good. Yeah. But if you want to add a little extra pizzazz in your imagination, something to bring out to talk to, about at cocktail parties, then yeah, well, it's, it's bovine because the bovine you know, cattle was very important to the ancient Irish kings. That's legit. You can say that if you want to. Yeah, but it's really for the fur of a sporn. It relies much more on personal preference than any kind of provenance like that. Yep. Um, if you like the musquash, um, if you like the red fox, if you like, if you just like plain leather, if you like bovine, whatever you like, if you go with that. I wouldn't put too much emphasis on what type of fur it is. I wouldn't even put too much emphasis on does it match my kilt and that kind of thing. The sporing kind of stands on its own. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, 